So today's video is going to be uh, the exhaust for the BMW. Um, I was going to do just uh, from the stock wide pipe back, uh, but I had some issues with the nuts on the uh, existing manifolds, kind of sheared off the studs. So um, I was going to pull off the exhaust manifolds from the engine and just kind of, you know, I guess pull the studs out from there. Um, and I just realized it's a lot of work just for no return at all. Um, when I can pick up a shed of, um, you know, cheesy, you know, Chinese headers for, you know, 150 bucks shipped to my house. Uh, it flows a little bit better. Um, hopefully the flanges are semi-straight to where a gasket can seal. Uh, there might be some fitment issues, but I think it, I think it'll be beneficial just to go straight from the engine to the back. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm going to use the stock two to one collector. Uh, then from there, I'm going to have two and a half inch straight pipe back. I'm going to run it through a resonator and then out the back to um, like a little two to one turn up tip. Um, hopefully it's not, hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. Uh, if not, I'll update or, you know, put a, either a bigger resonator or, you know, add another resonator in line. I'll have a lot of straight section underneath the car to where if I need to, I can add another one. Um, but I don't think it's going to sound too bad. Um, but I think we'll find out at the end of this video. So pretty much, um, I got new hardware for the manifold studs, new gaskets, pretty much everything from the, the engine back is going to be, you know, semi brand new minus the Y pipe. Uh, but yeah, so I guess, you know, just like wiping your ass, you got to start from the front and work your way to the back. Okay, so here are the old uh, exhaust manifold studs. Uh, they're kind of crusted up and just like rusted to. Each one of them came out of the head as opposed to the nuts backing off of the studs. You can see they're crusters. Uh, so I got some new ones from, I think Turner, I think I bought them. Uh, complete exhaust kit. It came with the um, studs, uh, the nuts, and also came with two extra nuts, just plain old hex nuts to kind of double nut to install the exhaust manifold uh, studs so that way you just double nut them in you don't have to worry about you know compromising the flanges on the uh, the copper nuts because uh, obviously I did not I was not able to kind of get any old ones off the uh, existing studs so what I did was just wiped off the surface with some brake cleaner I'm just gonna go now and just install all 24 studs take forever but should be done then I can finally get the the new headers on all right so got the exhaust manifolds all bolted up um let's see if I can get in there and, yeah got them all studded up um uh, it's all right it's pretty easy to get it all in there uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'm gonna jump to the bottom to kind of show you what I got on the bottom side okay so here's the bottom side uh I got the the block offs here. Um, I got those all tightened up. Might give it a once over again, but those should be all tightened enough. Um, here's the outputs. They're uneven, so I don't know if that's going to help or hurt. Uh, but we'll kind of see, play it by ear, uh, how it matches up with the with the stock collectors. <laughs> All right, so I cut the uh, collector piece off of the main mid pipe, and I kind of just have the you know the stock kind of laying out how it was under the car, and here's you know what I'm planning on building. Now I got some you know adjustments in and out on you know pretty much uh, every connection. I can move left and right. Um, makes it kind of easier to you know finagle underneath the car because as you can see they kind of have a bunch of little like you know jogs and then another jog where it's two pipes kind of moving together with this i think i can kind of keep it kind of high in the beginning and then for the out i i guess it doesn't really matter as much i don't know we'll see when we get underneath the car the only thing i know is i'm gonna have i'm gonna have this uh support section right here uh they use like two rubber donuts on the stock i'm gonna kind of put another one right here just after the resonator um, but what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to add a split here because that's what, you know, 
that's what was stock you know I had to cut it over there um, that way you know if I'm you know taking off the rear diff or you know messing with anything I can kind of split it here and just take off this part and leave this part intact uh, just like it was stock um, but yeah so far it looks okay um, I should, like I said I just had to add that little split there um, I'll try to think of something I could do there um, but it should be simple enough just to add a, a junction I can just cut a piece off the um, uh, I just got another section or anything um, just for whatever I need just to have a split there I have a little like u-bolt clamp I can put there to kind of make that split uh, but yeah um, so far so far so good I know it's not gonna be perfect um, but it's gonna be better than the rusted heavy junk that was on there before I just hope it just doesn't sound like shit um, but we'll see let's get started well I already kinda hit a snag here uh, it came with these two shitty clamps and one thing I didn't notice, I guess because they were in the bag, um, but they're different, they're different IDOD. Um, and these pipes are the same OD, I think. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck anymore. What's real? What is up? What is down? No, they are. What the fuck? They're different. Shit. doesn't make any fucking sense. Why would they do that? This one's loose and this one's tight. So, at least we know we're going to have a fucking exhaust leak uh, starting off. So, yeah, fuck. Alright, well, let's, let's get started with this and I guess we'll just cross that fucking bridge when we get to it. Yeah, alright. Okay. Alright, exhaust leak it is. Perfect. Okay, I got the, uh, I got these little connector pieces in uh, from the headers back to the stock collector. These things suck so bad. I, I didn't even tighten it down yet, and I know it's just it's just gonna leak like shit. So I gotta get two new band clamps. Uh, something something better than these pieces of crap. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of in the uh, the stock location here. And so what I'll do is I'll just uh, I'll just connect. You know, just fo pretty much follow the drive shaft. Uh, I'm about to flip you guys over. Whoa! Uh, pretty much just, you know, follow the drive shaft. Um, I'm gonna hang off these two little pieces to connect for the, um, the hanger. And then from there, you can kind of see it's pretty much a straight shot. Straight shot out to the, you know, the cutout for the bumper. Um, I don't think I'll need to put in any kind of, uh, bends there um I, I just unless i want it to you know to sit perfectly out of the bumper but i really don't care um so we'll just we'll just see we'll just keep going keep cruising along and, and check her out okay so i got the elbow just sitting in there um i just slipped the resonator on there and what i did was i propped it up with a jack stand i'm afraid jack stand is going to fall and kill Alright, so popped it up, let me slide under more. And so what I did was, that little piece I cut off, the little connector, I, um, well not the, I guess the slip-on section, I uh, just slipped it in the back of the resonator to just kind of put the straight pipe in, and I just kind of slid the muffler on and put it on the jack stand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the back and kind of show you what the issues are with that. Kind of two. Okay, so... Here's one of the issues. Uh, as you can see, the tip's a little far off from the edge of the bumper. I'd say maybe just eight inches this way. Also, I can't get it over because I'm gonna hit the lower control arm. Um, I wanna keep it kinda under the, I guess the subframe itself. So no pieces that are moving are gonna be in there. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do is, I don't know how well you can see this. Probably can't see worse shit. But I'm gonna have to, you know, just cut this long straight piece. All right, so back inside. Uh, pretty much, you know, I just have the exhaust kind of sitting next to it. Uh, pretty much the new versus the stock. Um, 
And so what I'm going to do is to combat both the, the length issue and I guess the orientation issue of the muffler itself um, and also the pipe, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 45 and I'm going to cut it right down the middle. And I'm almost going to do exactly what they did here. So they have like, a, uh, it's pretty much just like an offset. Um, so I'm going to have just like a, a little, the, the cut 45 is going to go right here. And then from there, I'm going to have a, a small straight section here. And then I'm going to do the other side of the cut 45 here. So I'm going to kind of just do this, this, almost like a little just jog right offset um, with, a, with a cut 45 and a small straight section. I don't know if I'm going to... Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do the cut 45 stuff yet. I'm uh, just kind of figuring out. Just kind of moving on the fly. Oh, hello, dog. Thank you for stepping into the shot. Is there anything you want to say? No. Okay, I got everything mocked up. Uh, what's up, Indian? Uh, I got everything mocked up. Um, I'm trying to keep it as high as possible. It looks like the resonator hangs down just a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is, I guess, try to cheat it up just a bit. Thank you, Finnegan, for being there. Everyone, this is Finnegan again. Uh, I'm just going to try to cheat it up a little bit while attacking. I'm just going to, you know, maybe do like three or so tacks um, on each end just to kind of, you know, make sure it's on there. That way, what I'll do is I'll drop the clamps and just kind of fully weld it inside. It's getting kind of dark, so I'm only going to be able to really do um, just to here pretty much before it gets too dark. So I'm just going to tack it up, bring it inside, and fully weld that part in. Okay, got the uh, centerpiece all welded up. The welds are shit, but you know what? It'll hold. It doesn't matter. Uh, remember, this is all cheap shit. Um, might as well learn. I never welded exhaust before. It was my first time. Uh, but yeah, pretty good. Um, so pretty much, I have to get new band clamps, like I said. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. I got the little section piece. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the... Um, the holders that that um that clip into the hangers um off of this piece here so i'll just have to figure out where i need to put it if i need to put any extensions to move forward backwards i think i need to move forwards this way some with it but yeah so i just need to leave room for the um just a little u-bolt clamp that's going to hold the back section together but man uh fun fun stuff it was fun stuff making this i know that this is going to be the bottom section so this is the last time that this is going to probably look this nice because it's going to get drug on fucking everything. But, yeah, all right, let's move on. I think I'm just going to end it for today, but it's going to come right next, um, right next in the video. Okay, so coming off the collector, um, it was kind of, you know, just shooting it out too far, too far into the, um, uh, I guess the drive shaft tunnel. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut like maybe about right here um, just to just to kind of bring it back closer to center on the drive shaft tunnel. And that's going to do two things. That's going to, you know, do that. And also it's going to give me this piece to where I can use it for the um, uh, the break I want to make uh, just, you know, right here on the uh, on the straight section just after the resonator. Um, so that's, you know, I, I guess that's, you know, both good. Um, this section is a little too big for the stock collector anyway. Uh, and it slips on, you know, pretty good for this. What I'll do is I'll just tack it in place and I'll just start beating with a hammer around it when I go to fully weld it to get it perfectly sealed up just to make it easier. Um, so I'm just going to cut it on my, uh, my shittily made stand for my Harbor Freight bandsaw. Um, yeah, just can't afford it. Make something that'll just get you by. Okay, so here's pretty much the tail section. What I did was I cut that 45 right at the angle um, and so the mid pipe section is going to come in here uh, I cut the stock hanger off the, um, the other pipe and it's just going to mount right there and this piece is going to slip into the, uh, the mid pipe section but I have um, I kind of just eyeballed it to see what length piece I needed here uh, just to kind of get I wanted that output of that uh, 22 and a half degree to kind of spit right next to the uh, subframe so I just kind of eyeballed it because I have a little bit of slip here to play with so nothing needs to be precise like I really 
I think I just used just my hand to kind of figure out how long I needed this piece to be because I have this slip I can adjust in and out when I need to uh, so from there um, the 22 and a half um, what I did I, I slipped this piece in these two pieces together and I had this section pieced up uh, right into the muffler just to kind of give me what my uh, you know my dimensions for, for uh, the straight section um, and I was kind of playing with it for you know a while trying to get it right but the problem I'm having is you know maybe around this section it's hitting the actual uh, subframe arm itself um, so it, it kind of interferes so it drops too low over here or you know if I try to line it up here it hits the subframe and it drops too low down on the uh, other end so what I'm gonna do is kind of mark uh, you know line everything up kind of mark with a sharpie where you know where that subframe's connecting and I'm actually just gonna just beat it in um, I don't think it's really gonna affect anything you know performance wise on a stock M50 exhaust so I'm just gonna beat it to clearance it um, and just trying to eyeball it in so with that with that you know beating it in right here it's gonna cause it to bow a little bit which is good because that way it'll you know pick up higher over here and, and higher over there and clearance everything and so that way I can have the right you know dimensions for everything and meet up to what I need to because I still have I still have a slip section here that's going to slip into the muffler itself so I still have that in and out over here to play with where I want the actual um, exhaust to sit and what I'll do is I'll, I'll walk over to the car kind of show you how I have the muffler set up so yeah I just kind of threw it up on the jack stand I have it kind of sticking out maybe just a little too far uh, which is good that way I can adjust it in if I need to uh, but I mean it's it's kind of you know just sticking just past flush with the bumper so everything's good I have it sitting on the jack stand I have um, I have my hangers you know kind of sitting where they need to be um, but yeah it's coming along let's see how far we get now all right so I kind of marked out you know where I need the I guess the beginning end of the uh, the dent uh, and bend and the, I guess the trailing edge um, this is kind of where it starts on the subframe and this is kind of around where the lower um, I guess the lower rear toe arm is um, it should clear everything's at full droop in the back so I mean technically I mean if it clears there I mean it really shouldn't contact the lower arm ever I mean unless something unless that fuck up real bad but um, yeah I'm just, I think I'm just going to throw it in the press and just kind of just crease it in uh, and then try to make it almost like um, bow a little bit that way it'll kick up this end a little bit and kick up this end a little bit. all right got everything tacked up uh, pretty much you know I got the hanger welded in um, I got the little spacer tacked in the angle this is the dent I had to make um, the other angle tacked in the only thing I have left is the muffler uh, to line up to tack it in uh, But one thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish weld um, The rest of the pipe and then from there I'm gonna uh, you know Weld on the muffler after I weld the whole pipe in uh, yeah everything's set up just have to sit there and um Just finish welding it out. It came out pretty good. No real big gaps. I think the biggest gap I have is right here you can kind of see um that's really not too freaking bad. Uh, but yeah, let's just weld it up and then get the muffler on there.
so exhaust is done uh, not really done done uh, but it's in um, I gotta replace the little band clamps that suck uh, I got a couple new uh, rubber hangers because mine were kind of busted uh, but that's it I mean the exhaust is finally in so now I can lower it down and move it not gonna do that yet um, that's it for today's video the next video I'm finally gonna finish uh, putting the coilovers on in the front it's been uh, far too long but uh, just let me know down in the comments anything else you want to see if I did a good job editing this or not it's kind of spanned out over quite a few weeks so um, just let me know any changes anything good bad let me know if you think it sounds like complete shit uh, I think it sounds a lot better than open headers though so that's for sure um, but yeah just let me know thanks for watching